I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. When I'll be posting this will be Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And because I was going to be doing a video on Valentine's Day, I wanted to do some sort of special video that made sense for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is actually one of my favorite holidays. I really like the idea behind Valentine's Day and hearts are my favorite shape and red is my favorite color and roses are my favorite flower. So it's basically just like everything I love crammed into one day. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, you love Valentine's Day because you're married and all of that. Well, I have loved Valentine's Day really my entire life. And that includes even in high school when a guy I was dating in high school told his friends and found and decided that Breaking up with me on Valentine's Day would be the worst way to break up with me. So I have actually been broken up with on Valentine's Day by a guy I was dating in high school. And uh, it just reminds me of how stupid a lot of guys were in high school. But even with that, I still love Valentine's Day. So I wanted to do a swatch and a little kind of mini review of all of my red lipsticks because that seems like the best video to do for Valentine's Day, at least in my mind. And I feel like if you're going to reach for a red lipstick, Valentine's Day will definitely be one of the days you will want to reach for a red lipstick. Let's just jump. Have on my lips right now is the Modern Minerals Lip Cream Tint in Joyful. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this really cute little orb and you unscrew it and here is the actual lip cream tint inside. And this I included because it it is red, like the, the color is actually red, but on my lips it ends up being a bit more of a pink color just because it is a cream lip tint. It's not as pigmented as a lipstick. And I got this in a Pettivore box and I really do like it. It is very moisturizing. It is nice if I want more of a sheer wash of color on my lips. And I think if you want to venture more towards a red lip but don't want the commitment or are kind of afraid of having a really pigmented red lip, then something like a tinted lip balm that is red can be a nice step towards a red lip. And this formula is really nice. It is nice and creamy and hydrating. It does have quite a bit of a scent though. I'm not entirely sure what the scent comes from. It is a strong scent and even with it on my lips, I can still smell it, but it does fade throughout the day. And obviously the color fades as well because it is a tinted lip balm. It just kind of depends on what you're interested in. But I think this is a really nice um, red and it's more of an everyday red for me. So if I want something that is a little bit more than just a pink lipstick, I will reach for something like this. And it's very wearable, especially at work or school. So the next um, red lip product I have is the Noto Multi Bene Tint. It is this red color here. It's a pretty dark red and I have it on my lips right now. And it definitely does pull more warm than the Modern Minerals Lip Tint on me. The Modern Minerals Lip Tint is definitely a little bit more blue toned, whereas this one is definitely more warm toned. Like the Modern Minerals, this is nice because it is a tint as well. And so you, you aren't getting the full pigmentation and the intenseness of a full blown red lipstick but you are definitely getting a red color. I reach for this quite a bit because once again, if I want to wear a red lip to lab, I can wear this color and it's not as intense as wearing a red lipstick. Granted, I still do wear red lipsticks to lab, but I like this one as well. And this one definitely is a minty lip product, so it does have a tingle and I love mint lip glosses or lip balms or anything like that. So if it has mint in it, I love it. So I really do enjoy this. But if you don't like mint, you probably would not want to go for something like this. And it does say that it can be used on the cheeks or the eyes, but once again, because it is minty, I have not done that. That just doesn't sound appealing to me. And I got the uh, Noto Bene. Uh, tint also in a pettivore box. Modern Minerals and the Noto are both vegan and cruelty free, which especially with red lip products is really cool because a lot of um, red lip products do contain carmine, which is not vegan, but these are both vegan as well. So good vegan options too.
Now what I have on my lips is the Au Naturel lipstick in Cha Cha and it comes in this nice bullet like this and it's got a magnetic closure which is always fun and nice and this is what the shade looks like in the bullet. I also have their lip liner as well in the shade Cha Cha. It is the exact same color as the lipstick and I like using this with actually all of these different red lipsticks I have because if you notice the uh, lipstick in Cha Cha, which I have on right now, it's not too cool and it's not too warm. I find that you can use the lip liner in Cha Cha with warm or cool red lipsticks, which is nice. Um, and that was what I was looking for when I bought that liner. I actually love this red. Um, and it's a very unique red. Actually, the whole Au Naturel lipsticks are very unique in terms of formula as well. They are a more dry formula. Um, they're not as creamy as you're used to and I kind of find that people either love the Au Naturel lipsticks or hate them because of the formula. It is just unlike any other formula that I've tried in a lipstick. But I really like them and why I like them is because they are drier, they are a more long wearing formula. Um, they stay on my lips longer throughout the day, they are less prone to transferring, which are all things that I look for in a lipstick. But what I like about this color in Cha Cha in particular is, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a bit of kind of shimmer to it but not like my lips don't look glittery but they just reflect the light really nicely so even though it is not as creamy of a formula it is a drier formula my lips still look very hydrated and you know there's a nice kind of reflection from the light with it so i do really like that in fact when i was doing um my holiday makeup tutorial i did use this as my red lipstick shade and it is one that i reach for a lot and also even though it is a red it's not like a ridiculously intense red um it is more pigmented than the balms i showed you earlier but it's not a crazy red so i also find this one to be very wearable as well I have the Clove and Hello Lip Velvet in Fiesta on my lips and it is a liquid lipstick but it dries down matte and this is the bold red you think of when you think of a red lipstick. It's the fire engine red but I absolutely love it and I love having it in a matte formula like this because it dries down, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't smudge on me, it doesn't bleed. It just dries down and stays where it is. It is the perfect formula to have for such a bold color. It wears beautifully throughout the day and I get so many compliments when I wear it because I remember I went out to dinner with some of my friends from lab and I was wearing this red lipstick and they were impressed by the fact that I ate a ton of food and it just stayed on. Like these lip velvets from Clove and Hallow do not leave your lips. Like they are just incredible and I cannot speak highly enough about them. But this shade in Fiesta, I have seen it on so many different people with so many different skin tones and this shade just looks beautiful. It is kind of the perfect universal red. I'm sure if you look on Instagram uh, and use the hashtag Clove and Hallow, you'll find other people wearing this shade, but it is just beautiful on everybody. And also I forgot to mention with the Au Naturel, but the, that lipstick in Cha Cha is vegan as well. And this one is too. I talked about this in other videos, but like there is no transfer on my hand. So completely transfer proof red lipstick, which also if you're you know going on a date, you might be kissing someone, good red lipstick to wear on a date. The final lipstick I have on now is the Ilia Lip Tint in Arabian Nights. And I have this itty bitty little sample of it that I got from Credo Beauty. Um, they were giving this as a sample if you made a purchase online with Credo Beauty. And I really do like this red. Um, it is a lip tint, but it's really quite pigmented for a lip tint, but it's very hydrating and very comfortable. I put this one on last because this is actually what I want to wear throughout the rest of my day today. Um, I really do like it and it's a little bit deeper than the other reds, not as bright of a red, 
but I really do like it and uh, this is actually the first and only Ilio product that I've ever tried out so that was kind of cool. I'm not sure if this one is vegan. I did try and do a little bit of Googling on it, but I'm not sure if this one is vegan or not. So um, I can't say for sure that this is vegan, but the other four definitely are. So that is four really great red vegan lip colors and one that may or may not be vegan, TBD. It obviously doesn't wear as long as the Au Naturel or the um, Cloven Hello Lip Velvet. It provides more pigment than the Modern Minerals or the Noto um, Benet Tint. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know red lipsticks can be intimidating. Hopefully this gave you some options. A range of different colors with a range of different formulas. If you are looking for red lipstick, you can find the perfect one for you. And let me know if you like this video and would like me to do this with other shades of lipstick, for instance. Um, if you would like that, let me know in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And once again, happy Valentine's Day and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.